just your, obviously your take on his passing and his legacy left uh, for, for wrestling now. Well, I mean, of course, every like everyone else, you're really sad to hear that news. Um, I mean, there are not a lot of people that you consider you're like real friends with uh, in the business. I mean, it's more your, your business acquaintances. You don't hang out with these people and everything. But but I, I always felt like Bobby the Brain, he and I were, were, were friends. I mean, he was the kind of guy that uh, I got to talk to, uh, you know, uh, quite a bit and everything when we were working together working together there in the WWE and, and Bobby and I, I always felt like had the, had the very same sense of humor, if you will. I mean, I, I mean, and, and, and I thought sort of similar personalities. I mean, he was just, he was just a, a great guy, the funniest guy ever uh, to be around. He was just really, uh, you know, what, what you saw on TV uh, and heard from Bobby on TV was really just the tip of the iceberg of what he was really like when you were around him. I mean, just the, his life was one liners, one, just one after another. I mean, he was just, uh, he was such a quick wit. He was such a, uh, a, a good guy to be around. And, and um, I mean, you know, I, uh, he's one of those guys you don't hear, you won't hear anybody say anything bad about Bobby Heenan. He was just, he was just a great guy. Uh, um, and that's not something that, you know, that's something that I would, I, had, I said about Bobby, you know, when he was alive. I mean, I always, I always felt the same. He was, I, I got to see him um, at, at WrestleCon in, I guess, March or something of this year. I saw him uh, not long before that at the Cauliflower Alley's Club. He came out there in, in Las Vegas when Lance was getting inducted into the, uh, Lance Russell was getting inducted into the Announcers Hall of Fame there. And Bobby was there and, and just, um, I, I, you know, it's it's sad, but uh, you know, Bobby had gotten the, that cancer, and it, you know, I said a million times, it was so ironic for a guy that you know had made such a big part of his life was his speaking voice and his talking and and the, and the interviews and promos that he would do over the years, you know, was that was his strong point, and then for for that guy to get you know cancer of the throat and tongue and and all of that sort of stuff, it was just it was just really sad to see. And, um, and and for you know for quite some time Bobby had had, had been suffering from the effects of that that cancer and, and uh, you know that's just such a such a devastating disease and, and and but Bobby fought long long time and hard against that but um, yeah just sad to see him go but man what a what a legacy this guy leaves I mean you would talk about you know you say hey he was a, he was an announcer he was a comment to color commentator he was the color commentator I don't think there's ever been and probably never will be anybody to match Bobby Heenan behind the mic when he and Gorilla Monsoon uh, were together wow that's just the best that's the best there was you know yeah I got to know and work with Bobby yeah I mean before you know before the WWE even I mean before that he before he was in WWE when he was working for Vern Gagne in the AWA and managing uh, Nick Bockwinkel coming down to Memphis and you know we we got the great interviews down in Memphis from Bobby Heenan before he was ever even in WWE and Bobby was I mean when you put when you put Bobby Heenan and Nick Bockwinkel together as the AWA world champion and and his manager it was it just gave it lended such prestige because just just Nick Bockwinkel himself carried himself so uh, uh, you know so professionally and and so perfect for he epitomized what a person would think a wrestling champion should look like and sound like and and be like and then when you added Bobby Heenan to that max I mean to that mix he was the perfect spokesperson for what you thought a world champion should sound like. And, 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 you know, I thought when, when you looked at somebody, uh, e- I mean, even all the great, you know, managers that they had with the different champions up in the WWE, I don't think there was ever a better combination than Bobby Heenan and Nick Bockwinkel as the AWA world champion.